from Denver. Yes, sir. Uh, and been here now three years in Phoenix, playing for the Cardinals. It's a dream come true. You know, uh, really, it's just everything I wanted my whole life. You know, I put so much hard work and time and effort into it, and then for it to come true, it's like a dream. You know, going to the, the playoffs in, in my first year at, in Arizona, it was huge. You know, right. we uh, had an opportunity to go to the playoffs. We were 9-7 that year. It wasn't like we had a real good right, year. Right, right, right. Roller coaster ups and downs. But when we got to the playoffs, I think something just ignited. When I was 24 in the NFL, I was making a lot of mistakes. Um, and then later on, I, I, I kind of came back, played for Indianapolis, and corrected a lot of those things and kind of ended up on a good note. But both those times, there was always people out there trying to, that, that you had to kind of watch and be careful of because it always seems like somebody's trying to, I don't want to say con you or something, but someone's always trying to get something from you. That was for me now. I retired in 99, so that was over 10 years ago. So is it still like that? Has it gotten worse? Is the, What's the experience like? Yeah, it's hard. You know, you have a lot of people, you know, that come at you with different opportunities mm -hmm. or ideas, and, you know, you can't really trust everybody. Right. You know, I, I think that with me, yeah, I'm very smart. You know, I've, uh, I'm blessed enough to have a, you know, go to a school like my like Miami, right. where there's a lot of people who are in the NFL already who right. kind of can, you know, show you the ropes a little bit. Sure, it's like sure. a fraternity. Sure, Everybody sure, comes yeah, back yeah. and they really, you know, talk, talk to you a little bit. I think Edwin James going to Arizona was a, a big part for me. He definitely kind of stirred me in the right direction a little bit. Well, what about the NFL? When I was in the league, they would have, they'd bring in the people from, actually bring in the FBI, and they'd bring in huge government officials and talk about, Hey, this is a scam that people will sometimes try to do to you if you go on the road and you're in the hotel and somebody comes up to you at the bar and all these, did they do all those scenarios with you yeah. guys? Yeah. They do a lot of different yeah. things. I mean, they really have like, we during uh, camp, we have like probably three or four days where we have meetings every night. Right, right. And it's, you know, everything's like a different thing when it comes to like girls and right. when it comes to, you know, um, financial stuff and sure. everything. And then sure. even though the NFL p puts on a seminars you can go to during the off season. Right. You know, I went to the Harvard Business Program. I read that, yeah. And it was uh, real that. interesting because, uh, you know, they kind of teach you how to read business plans, how right. to know if a business plan is legit, like what to look for. Right. And uh, they really help you with uh, understanding like, you know, what good business is and like really just give you like a crash course on business. Right. What do you do off the field? You know, I try to do a lot of different things, you know, uh, try to get involved in the community a little bit. Uh -huh. and I know how big it was for me when I was a kid to see somebody who played in the NFL and like, you know, for them to come back and give back, you know, that sure. was huge. You know, sure. I remember when I was a, a senior, I mean, I was a freshman in high school and Marshall Fock and Peyton Manning came to a camp we were doing. Oh. And to them, I mean, I'm sure they probably do that all the time. Right, right, right. But to me, I mean, I remember like it was yesterday, still to this day right now. And, uh, you know, for me, so I feel like if I go back and, you know, hang out and try to interact with some kids, sure. I can make a difference in their life. Tell me about the A Day Made Better. That was a, a big event. You know, it was uh, exciting because, you know, you know, teachers don't really get a lot of right. a love for what they do out there. You know, right. I mean, I know growing up, you know, it was, it was hard for teachers back then. And now, I mean, with the economy the way it is, right. it's even more hard. So teachers come out their pockets a lot more. We're celebrating teachers today. And we're going to celebrate one of your very own teachers from here. Mr. Stevenson. Teachers, his name was uh, Mr. Stevenson, and he was just a, a you know, a elementary school teacher at a place um, in uh, West Phoenix. It, it was just, it was a, a you know, good for him because you could tell that like he made a difference. I mean, that little bit of short time I spent with him, you could tell with a sense of humor and just the person he was. Like the, the kids really bought into what he was teaching. Right, right. So it was real he good had a to see that. For what he was doing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. He actually is a big Green Bay fan. Oh, is he? Not, yeah. Okay. All right. I gave him a Cardinals football, though. He said Cardinals are his second favorite team, so <laughs> he was excited. <laughs> I already had a positive light of him as a football player, but, I mean, we all know that as a person is more important, and this does put him in the complete package of a great, not only football player, but a great person, so I appreciate that. Now, do you have any kind of a foundation or anything going on here in the Valley or back home in Denver that you do? Yeah, I just actually started one uh, here in uh, Arizona. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, one that uh, I feel like is really like important to me because my father was a big part of my life growing mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. and he passed away when I was a senior in high school. So, uh, for, like for me, I, I started a foundation in his name, Excellent. and like he stood for like you know really kind of just keeping kids busy good. and then keeping them off the streets. For me to be able to have the ability to give back, sure, it feels good. Yeah, you know? absolutely, absolutely. And the older I get the more I see that, you know, it's giving back is really the, it's so huge because it does come back. It yeah. does come back to you even, you know, fourfold. And it's, it's really fantastic. Yeah. I just know how hard it was growing up I mean, for my mom, my father, you <laughs> right. know, eight kids, kids yeah. you know, it's hard. Yeah. My mom made miracles happen. <laughs>